Yo, before the video starts, man, make sure you go follow my Twitch, all right? My links will be in the description, man. I stream every single day. So if you guys want to see me play 2K or any other game, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I will be doing a Save Wizard giveaway, all right? So thank you guys for watching. Let's get into the video, man. Yo, what is up YouTube man, it's your boy YT Strong Gamer coming back at you with the next video here today. Now in today's video I'll be showing you guys as you guys can see from the title. How to get your playmaking badges and shooting badges quick as possible from my career playing on Hall of Fame, alright? Now, um, I know I've been slacking on the uploads man, I apologize, I know I've been slacking on the Twitter DMs, but I got y'all man. But hey, as you guys can see, um, I'm gonna show you the... So this right here what you're seeing is the best way how to get playmaking badges, alright? So we're playing on Hall of Fame. So if you want to get your playmaking badges, playmaking, play on Hall of Fame today, and then you're gonna throw the most lobs, right? So obviously you guys are gonna be throwing the lobs to get open all the time, or to get the AI open to catch the lobs. So if you're on a fast pace like this, and you see LeBron going down court, all right. Now if you have LeBron on your team, I'll give you game from Dwight Howard, bro. Make sure you sign with the Lakers, all right? I know they w I w won the championship uh yesterday. So shout out to everybody who's on the Laker team, man, Laker Nation, you feel me? But as you guys can see, LeBron is going, I'm just throwing it, you feel me? You know, LeBron got all the badges, have Slim City Finisher, uh, Lob City Finisher, all that. So all, all you need is for your team to have Slim City Finisher and Lob City Finisher. That's all they need, all right? Now as you guys can see, we're just playing, um, we're just playing this game, right? So I'm going to fast forward ahead until I have the ball. As you guys can see, we missed this uh, finish, so I'm just going to fast forward ahead. Uh, fast forward ahead. So all this is pre-recorded, I'm just talking over it. So as you guys can see, All the time. So all you want to do is um call for the screen and throw the ooh play on Hall of Fame difficulty because I'm about to show you guys why you should play on Hall of Fame difficulty because you get more like attribute upgrades um because you I think you get 1.5 multiplier which you guys are about to see right now and I think you get five times um attribute multiplier for playing on Hall of Fame difficulty. So as you guys can see, I got everything maxed out in one day. One day of grinding my career, I got all my shooting maxed out. Right. So as you guys can see, if you play on Hall of Fame, you get three badges every game. Perfect. If you have like 30 badges, you make uh, three badges, one game. That's perfect. All right. I know people could get more if you get lucky with the uh, Lob City uh, catches. All right. Now, as you guys can see, I'm gonna show you guys how to get one badge and a half every game after you need um what you call it 50 shooting badges. All right. So this is the method right here for shooting. All right. So you want to play on pro difficulty. You want to play on pro. Now, once you play on pro difficulty, you want to try and shoot as much shots as you can. It doesn't matter if you make or miss them because they do, they do not penalize you. So the method is, all you want to do is step back and try to green it, all right? Every time you step back and shoot, it's always going to be green if you know how to time your shot perfectly because um you're getting wide open, all right? Because the AI like freezes for a second and then you could just uh, pull up. Also, if you have Dead Eye and Hot Zone Hunter, those are the two recommended by Alright, so in my opinion, so as you guys can see right here, I try to shoot that without taking a step back. As you guys can see, I miss with takeover. So the badges I recommend you guys to have off the rip is Dead Eye Hall of Fame and Range Extender. Alright, you need Dead Eye Hall of Fame and you need Range Extender Hall of Fame. Now, everybody knows you need Range Extender Hall of Fame. So Range Extender Hall of Fame and try to put like Range, put range Extender like silver, I mean, or silver, or I mean, gold. And then try to put dead eye on silver, all right? If you're just starting off making your play, all right? So try to level up your range extender first because you you will need that, and you guys will see the difference when you put range extender on, all right? So right here, I'm just fast forwarding until you guys see me, um, play again, all right? So as you guys see, we are in the first quarter right here. I'm gonna do a cut to where I'm in the third quarter. I'm just doing the same method. All you have to do is get the ball in your hand, do a step back, and shoot it, all right? So as you guys can see right here. Um, I pass it to Kuzma, he hit the shot, alright, I'm not I'm not blaming Kuzma for helping me get my defensive points. Also, play defense if you're trying to get your defensive badges, alright. Defensive badges is the only thing that will take you like a little while to get. Um, the best way to get your defensive badges, honestly, is in the park, alright. I know it sounds crazy, but the best way to get your defensive badges is in the park because you're constantly playing defense uh, compared to my career, you know what I mean? So as you guys can see, I'm going to step back and shoot it, alright. Now, sometimes you'll white it, you won't hit it all the time, but if you're open, try to hit the shot, alright. Now. If you got that little thing that everybody using, it might be beneficial to be all of my opinion. But if you 
you know, you know. You feel me? But yeah, so as you guys can see right here, all you want to do is get the ball, all right, make some noise, all right, as you guys can see, and just do a step back. If you're wide open like that, just take the shot, as you guys can see. I agree it. You don't always have to hit three-pointers. You can hit mid-range shots, all right, because you're getting shooting badges. So if you shoot a midi and you shoot a, a three-pointer, it's the same thing, all right? Now, if you're open, you can call for a screen. You guys know how to feign for a screen. You guys know how to feign, like, better. Like, if you know how to feign, like, good, uh, try to go for feign. But since I have Rangers Hall of Fame, and uh, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, I was just taking three. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to get open, all right? But it brought me into the pain, and I greened the, uh, the rim. All right? So as you guys can see, so now I'm about to get the ball right here. So he got the ball. He passed it to me. I'm going to go to my sweet spot right here. I'm going to do a step back. But I didn't do a step back. I just greened it. But yeah, all right? So that's basically it for this video. Don't worry. More videos on the way. Uh, on the 18th, I will stream and uh, start I apologize for you guys. My fault if the video is kind of terrible, but I try to stream it. It's the best way to stay away from shooting badges. All I got my shooting badges all in one day. So as you guys can see right now, um, I'm just fast forwarding ahead so you guys can see how I did it. Now this is before the method. This is before the method when I did the Lob City method. But as you guys can see, um, I went back a little bit. So I I uh I have like 15 shooting badges out of 20 because I only get 20. So I go um one badge and a half a game, which is I have 15 bucks, so I all I need is one badge and a half. So I have four more games to go to get all your shooting badges, all right? So as you guys can see right now, we are playing like we won the game. So as you guys can see, I only scored 85 points. Um, I only scored 85 points. Now, you know you're going to go up a badge and a half if you score more than 85 points, all right? If you score more than 85 points, you'll either get a badge and a half or you'll go up two badges um, a game, all right? So as you guys can see, I went up a whole bar, which is a W, all right? Um, rule to 99, you feel me? Now, as you guys can see, I went up one ba badge, and like the next game I play, I will go up another badge. You, you feel me? So the 